Hello guys, this is Sahil. Welcome to Cloud Doctor. In the previous video, we have created the user registration functionality and in this video, we will set up the user login functionality. So let's start with the video. So let me open VS Code first of all. And this is our project. And here we have to set up the user login functionality. So first of all, let me open the documentation here. Yeah, so this is the user login functionality. Okay, so in the account state.js, first of all, we'll create a new function. User login. So const authenticate equals to and it will take username and password await new promise resolve reject and it will be async okay so now const user equals to new cognito user username and pool will be user pool now const auth details equals to new authentication details username and password so now user dot authenticate user then auth details comma on success data and console dot log login success and data after that we have on failure error console dot log failure error dot message then we have new password required here also data console.log new password required data and we'll add here resolve data here reject error and here also resolve data done so after that i'll just copy this and i will paste it here so now in the login.js file i will add authenticate here and first of all what we will do so first of all we'll cut this and we'll check registered then handle login else handle registration so i will create a new function
login functionality const handle login equals to event arrow function then event dot prevent default now authenticate email password dot then data console dot log logged in successfully and data then dot catch error console dot log failed to login error dot message okay so now we are done with our code so let us check the functionality whether it is working fine or what first of all i will show you in the previous video we have registered a user and the account status is confirmed and email is also verified as we can see here the status is true so now let us check first of all i will open inspect console and here we will write our email id So as we can see here, the login is successful and we have received the data here and inside the data we have different attributes such as access token, JWT token and many more. So that's all for this video. I request you to please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be adding videos frequently to complete this series. Thank you.